All right, I have uh, Michael Quinn and Marty Strohoffer on the phone from Aurora Casket Company. And uh, gentlemen, thank you for uh, taking the call from us today. You're welcome, Ryan. Nice to meet you. Um, you know, the, the topic of the Aurora Casket acquisition um, was a very big topic last week um, on connecting directors. And Marty, I appreciate you you know, sending us the press release and letting us uh, announce that um, acquisition. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of questions that were posed um, on the, you know, comments to that press release. And so I'm glad that we we're able to arrange a call and, and, and give you guys the opportunity to answer some of these questions that uh, a number of our members had. Um, as, you know, Aurora is a very special company in, in the funeral profession and very close to many funeral directors. So, um, you know, there's a lot of questions being asked, but um, if you guys could possibly just, you know, explain the, the acquisition and uh, kind of where things are at right now with Aurora, and then we will uh, start asking some of these questions. Okay. So, you know, Quite simply, what has, what has transpired, what we announced was a change in ownership of Aurora. Um, the, the two families have sold their shares to Kohlberg and Company. Uh, and Kohlberg is a uh, private equity fund manager. They raise money from a variety of um, sophisticated investors. And then Kohlberg invests that money um, by uh, purchasing whole businesses. They Hold today probably something like 18 or 20 businesses, and now Aurora is one of that collection. Okay. Uh, they have a long uh, history of being a successful investor. Uh, they've been in business more than 30 years. They have, I believe, uh, Aurora is the 58th platform um, company that they've purchased, and they have a history of continuing to invest in the businesses that they own. Uh, investing in a variety of ways, um, including funding, you know, significant internal projects and on occasion funding additional acquisitions. I believe that they have funded something like a hundred follow-on acquisitions. So if they have 50, you know, seven platform companies before us and have funded about a hundred follow-on acquisitions, that says they're doing kind of two follow-on acquisitions for every platform uh, business that they buy. So um, successful group, uh, one that I've worked with previously and one that has a long history um, and a history of continuing to invest in the businesses they buy. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Um, Marty, do you have anything to add, or are you guys ready to field a few questions? No, go ahead and bring on the questions, right? Okay. Um, one of the questions that was, was posed quite a few times um, is, will Aurora continue the same discount program for their caskets uh, when paid timely? Um, so pr pricing and you know really detailed customer relationship issues I think are best handled by our sales force one on one. Okay. You know, what, one of the things that we have said um, and stand behind is that our business is going to continue really uninterrupted. So our sales programs, our product line, our sales force, um, our manufacturing processes are continuing and you know, without interruption, that this is a change of ownership, but not a change in business practice. Okay, great. Um, that leads right into the next question. Are, what do you plan on changing? Are there changes that are gonna be made? You know, every business is a, you know, very much a, a live and changing um, entity as the markets change, as customers' needs change, as um, the economy, you know, speeds up and slows down. So yes, we will have some changes. But the reason that uh, Colbert bought the business was because this is a good industry. It's a good business. It's a stable and mature um, industry. It's a good management team, and we believe there's some things that we can do to improve the business and to, you know, increase the growth trajectory. But uh, so yes, there will be some changes. Okay. I'm, I'm still learning the business. I'm spending some time um, inside the business learning and traveling uh, to meet customers, meet our sales team, uh, meet the folks that work in the various uh, far-flung facilities that Aurora has. And um, we'll develop our business plan over the next weeks and months, and you'll see us begin to execute after that. Great. Um, 
you know, we've seen in, you know, a lot of acquisitions in the, in the profession, um, you know, a lot of changes and, and acquisitions kind of went to address uh, necessary challenges that the, the company was facing. Um, so is there anything in this acquisition as, you know, you, you folks are still learning the profession um, that's going to help kind of counter the fundamental challenge that funeral professionals have right now with the rising cost of in-ground burials versus, um, you know, the low cost options of cremation? Well, I think that um, there could be some things that we could do around that, and I think that that could involve new product development, new service development. It could just be, um, you know, education about the subjects and about the products and services that we already offer, and it could be engaging with funeral directors in a way that provides um, uh, more information education to their clients. You know, we're not really sure, but but we. Um, know that that is an issue and agree that it needs additional att attention. It's something I'm going to be talking to uh, funeral homeowners and funeral directors about as I travel. Okay, perfect. Um, do you have something, Marty? No. No, okay. Um, this is kind of a maybe a, a touchy uh, topic, but um, um, you know, given the investment from Kohlberg, um, will Aurora be introducing any import caskets in the near future? Uh, that, that's not, we, we did not buy the business with the intention of changing the uh, product lineup uh, in such a way that we'd introduce a foreign uh, product. But if, you know, if the demand is such that, 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 that those are products that people want, then that is something that you, know, you could see in the fullness of time, but that is not a fundamental um, tenet of our strategy. Uh, those products are available to funeral directors today if they thought they had value at the right price. There's obviously lots of you know issues with um, some foreign product transportation. You know, key amongst them distribution, key amongst them. But um, you know, we have a history of very hands-on service. Mm -hmm service center managers, our sales force, you know, are extremely close to their customers and we provide a tremendous, uh, a lot of value in delivering a casket or you know, group of caskets in a timely manner. So um, foreign distribution has lots and lots of problems and really it's probably not set up to duplicate the kinds of um, supply chain management and services that we provide funeral directors today. Okay. Uh, from from a personnel standpoint, um, are the the Barretts and Beckhams going to stay um, involved in the business, or uh, are there going to be a lot of changes made at the executive level and even uh, more of the customer relation people that funeral directors have built relationships with? Well, the, the Barretts and Beckhams are exiting the business. They, they've, they've sold uh, their shares. They, they, they've sold the business, and, and they are moving on. Um, they have been. Uh, tremendous to work with through the process, including um, making customer calls and making some introductions and um, working with us to ensure that we you know, do the right things relative to communicating with our customers. They've got great relationships with customers and had, have had for a long time, and they've made a lot of phone calls and some visits you know, along those lines, and I think we can count on them to continue to do that. Our interests are very much aligned. They, they want the relationships that they um, spent so many years building and nurturing, and we want those protected. Sure. And um, you know, for the most part, our same sales team is in place, and they're calling on their same customers. There are changes in every business over time, but um, we very much are concentrating on changing as few things as possible. You know, I'm the significant change in the management team. Okay. Over invest in business with good management teams. This is a good management team, and we're not contemplating other changes with senior management. Okay, um, Marty, maybe you could maybe address this a little more. But um, were there any significant events that that led to uh, the acquisition of Aurora, and and why um, you know the the current owners um, thought it was time to. Uh, sell the business and, and, and get out? Ryan, 
uh, I'll, I'll answer that question. Before I do, I wanted to make one other uh, clarification. Uh, Michael's right about uh, Chris Barrett and Bill Backman's role. Uh, Jason Barrett, however, is going to continue to work in the organization in a, in a sales position that he's been in, in in recent years. So I wanted to just clarify that uh, for all the folks who, who know Jason. He'll, he'll continue to be with us in that capacity. Um, and, and to answer the question, and maybe Michael can chime into this too, uh, the Barrett and Backman families, and Michael already said it in, in other words, wanted to continue the legacy of the company they've built and continue to have Aurora be a strong brand in funeral service and they found a, a partner in Colbert who wanted to perpetuate that legacy. And maybe Michael can chime in to add to that. Yeah, I think that's true. And thanks for clearing up the issue with Jason. I, I was remiss in not saying that. Um, you know, families um, sell a business uh, for lots of reasons. And families have, I'm sure, lots of needs and stresses and um, issues to deal with as you know, time progresses. Um, the fact is the Barrett's and Backman's have been in this business for a long time and have, have exceeded all the averages. I think that uh, some statistics we saw say that something like only 1% of family-owned businesses make it to a transition to the fourth generation, and the Barrett's and Backman's actually ran the business very successfully um, to the fifth generation. But every generation, um, it, it, is, it is difficult to... Um, continue that to the 6th and 7th and 8th, and they just collectively decided that this was the right thing for them at this point in time. And uh, they did have choices uh, in when they decided to make a change and felt very comfortable with the Kohlberg team and felt, I think, probably comfortable that that's what they said to me, that you know Kohlberg has run much like a family business as well, that Jerry Kohlberg started the business back in the late 80s. His son, Jim Kohlberg, was actively involved at that time. Jim is still the uh, chairman of the business and uh, the principals of the Colburn business have been the principals for many years. Uh, it, it, is, it is a business that has uh, many uh, uh, elements, much like the Barrett's and Backman's business. So I, I think that was another area in where the two groups were aligned. Okay. Um, you know, Aurora casket as being a family-owned business um, a lot of their clientele has been independent family-owned funeral homes um, it, the one of the concerns that I, I received in an email that wasn't posted on the site was that a lot of times in acquisitions we've seen in the past in the profession um, the purchaser doesn't seem to have the same interest in mind, obviously, that the previous owner did. And um, there's been cases where the business has been sold to an entity that, um, you know, the, the original owner never would have sold to. Um, is it possible that Aurora could be sold to another large company in, in the industry or the profession? Well, our, our interest at this point is um, maintaining the relationships that uh, we have, many of them, you know, very uh, long run relationships and growing the number of relationships that we have and continuing to invest in those relationships and serve those customers. Um, you know, we're, we're very new um, now being, you know, one week into this and anything, you know, it's really not worth speculating on what the future would hold um, other than hopefully the future of um, continuing to succeed and continuing to serve you know what is a great group of customers and a great group of um, families you know family owned businesses out there so that, that's what the Barrett's and Backman's did and that's what our current group our continuing group is going to do that's what this management team does okay um, going forward um, you know we're What's the state of Aurora Casket now, and are there anything? Is there anything we can expect coming up on the horizon? Well, the, the state of the business is, is, a, is a very good one. You know, sellers have a chance. Sometimes are forced to sell in periods of duress, um, but you know, look for opportunities to sell at you know in periods of success, and, and that's where the Barretts and, and Bachmans um, were. Uh, maybe another consideration that the families um, undertook when they decided now is the time. So, you know, what the industry knows is that we're a successful business. 
hopefully doing a great job serving our customers and we have a great group of customers. We're going to continue that. Um, to do that, we will you know, listen to the customers and try to you know, come to understand how we can continue to help them. I think that some of that help will come via new product development, new service development, um, expanding, probably expanding a group of products and education and consultancy services that we can provide. We're successful when our customers are successful and you know, we're going to look to continue to try to make them successful and help them to connect to their you know, clientele in their uh, market areas, their, their, their cities and towns. Will the uh, Aurora Home Centers Partnership stay in place? I think that could play off what you said earlier where there weren't any major changes, but um, that was a question that was posed. Yes, we, we very much hope so. And we've been in consultation, we've been in contact with uh, Graham Cook and the folks at Homesteaders, and that's their desire, that's our desire, and you know, we'll work to make that happen. Uh, nothing about this transaction has to affect uh, that relationship, and we don't think it will. Um, I look forward to meeting Mr. Cook and his team uh, sometime very soon. We're actually trying to set up a, a, a meeting at this time. Great. Um, you know, I think that that answers a lot of the questions that were asked, and uh, you know, that I had. Um, you know, it's 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 an interesting insight into our profession when we see a company like Aurora, um, you know, being acquired, and uh, I think it's you know a, a good uh, reflection of, of where the industry is at and, and the progression that's taking place and um, you know we are kind of at the end of an era um, when it comes to you know family businesses and being able to continue to to run the same way we, they always have and, and adapting to the changes being driven by the consumer so um, you know I, th I think uh, a lot of people are were, were saddened by the acquisition but also on the same hand are excited to see you know where it goes from here and how Aurora can can continue to progress um, like they have before and maybe even more in a, in a more rapid pace so um, I Anything in closing, if, if uh, funeral professionals have any more questions, um, you know, how can they contact uh, you, Michael, or, or Marty to, to get those questions answered? You know, probably the best thing to do is, to, is, is I would advise the funeral professionals to um, contact their relationship manager, their sales manager from Aurora. Um, our service center managers and service center employees are um, in the funeral homes at least as much if not more than the um, salespeople so hopefully they have those two uh, communication channels but we are always open to talking to our customers and um, you know our sales management or marketing management like Marty or myself will answer every call and every question our customers have. Okay. Well thank you so much gentlemen for taking the time out of the day to uh, do this call uh, with Connecting Directors and uh, I know that it's got to be extremely busy with this all taking place in the last week, so um, we greatly appreciate you taking the time to answer the questions um, of the funeral professionals and, and customers um, on a forum like this, so uh, greatly appreciate it. We're happy to help, Brian. Nice to meet you this way. Absolutely. Hopefully we'll meet face-to-face -face very soon. I agree. All right. Take care, gentlemen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Brian. Bye.